after this cruise, I may either be with your help in Hollywood, yeah. or you see me in the post office, a picture on the wall, most wanted. <laughs> yes, we yes, got yes. a post office to work <laughs> in uh, West Virginia. Genoa. 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 US, US Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Amanda and I are on shuttle pass patrol. Uh, we have to go to Java Blue to pick up our time slots uh, for the water shuttle that we're going to take over to the private island. Here we go. We secured the goods for Bridget and Jeffrey. <laughs> Thank you for securing the goods. Securing the goods. Now let's go get them away so we can get ready. <laughs> Maybe go get some breakfast. Good, Good morning. morning. Today we are nursing sunburns and the cheers package. Don't forget about the food coma. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yesterday was awesome in the Bahamas. Oh, but today we are having a beach day and Half Moon Key, which is Carnival's private island. Uh, we've never been there before. You've got to take a shuttle, water taxi, uh, over to the island, and we've not done that either, so it's going to be a new experience. But first, we need to get some food in our bellies. Yes, here we, we do. go. Oh, Arapas and Cheryl. I had arapas this morning. They're my favorite things. We kind of had a little bit more basic breakfast with some cereal, a croissant. I also had one of the arapas, which is so delicious. We are in water mode officially. Uh, we're heading down to meet Jeff and Amanda on deck five, where we're going to wait for them to call our shuttle number, which is 28. Uh, they're up to 21 right now, so it shouldn't be too much longer before we get called. Then we head to the beach. Did oh, fight. Yeah. We're gonna go try to get some water. We have to make some better choices. I think I saw how $125. So for the last time, we're gonna get a little Lockers over here. I don't necessarily think we're gonna need them today though. They're available. Information hot. First aid folks. Rum runners, we got a bar. Bunch of seating over here with shade. In case you want to know exactly where this is located in the world. Tokyo. Amsterdam. London. New York. Seattle. Los Angeles. 
the Half Moon Cave logo shop. Got all the little goodies. Thank you forgot the pack with your snorkel gear. It's got sunglasses. Everything else. Got some more shopping over on this side. Some bags, some hats. Oh, heard you were just saying she wanted another hat. So we got some tiki carvings, little Congo drums. I guess they're bongo drums. T-shirts. Ooh, more little knickknacks. Those are the fun ones to get into. Those look nice. I think Bridgie will want to go in there. Check out some of these cool dresses. Looks like the logo shop has continued. Black beards, rum case, and all the things black beards. Over here, we've got the kids' play area. They got their own little pirate ship. Uh, looks really, really fun for them. Uh, <laughs> walking on the beach, you tend to get a little bit wet but right at this spot. <laughs> the boys, it feel good. Not 100% sure what's going on. Maybe some serious beach erosion right here. I don't think that that's normal. That's probably not supposed to be happening. But I could be wrong. Coming up on the Captain Morgan Pirate Bar. It's definitely where we're gonna get run rum today. Private cabanas have multiple floors and hot tubs in them. Yeah. Not that you need a hot tub today, the water is amazing. Uh, there is our beautiful carnival sunshine. Guys, we can get a good picture here later. Cycle. Well, we brought our water shoes, but we're definitely not using those because the sand is uber soft. I Pick your see, legs, do button in with see, the sand. Can you see the sand? <laughs> 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 uh, if I didn't have my water shoes, uh, you'd you think I was floating. Oh, yeah. That is funny. This is so beautiful. And I'm glad we all decided to wake up early. Thank me and Timmy for being the responsible one. Oh, getting out of bed. Oh. Like, thank you, Timmy, to be in there because I was definitely dying in bed this morning. <laughs> and I thought that they'd all just left me to go ashore, anyways. <laughs> Thanks to the interior cabin and not having my cell phone, <laughs> I wasn't really sure if it was even the same day or not. We weren't sure you were alive. Oh, Tim came a... out of the bathroom and I'm like, what time is it? He goes, it's like almost 7. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Me and Timmy were like, good morning. Let's go be at house and get lunch with us. <laughs> First impressions. And go, Timmy. 8 2. 8 2. The beach is amazing. The water is absolutely amazing. The waves, the clarity. Uh, there's hardly anything dirty about this beach. Uh, just there's not a lot of shade for if you want to get out. <laughs> That's basically it. So what's your rating of the island, Amanda? Um, 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. 8.
It would have been a 10 out of 10 if there weren't so many children. <laughs> <laughs> <They're everywhere>. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? Give it a 9 2. Okay. Solid 9 2. I haven't really experienced too much ocean beach though. So. That's fair. My rain is mostly on the water. It's so blue. I'm going to give it a good solid 8.9 off of the sand alone on this beach. It's, yeah, it kind of, it's like a grainy clay feeling because it it's smooth. And you really don't need water shoes. You don't need water. water shoes. I do recommend that you get some shoes though walking onto the beach because that was pretty crazy. The boulders that were right there. Yeah, there was some bigger rocks, but... <laughs> We all got drinky drinks. <laughs> Bahama Mama. Oh yeah. Oh. We're gonna sit these down and then go get some lunch. Yep. <laughs> got that on camera. <laughs> you got it on camera? Yeah. Here. It's a nice little restroom area. Area. For gold and boy. Food is just behind the pirate ship. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, they're making the goods, making the goods. We got coleslaw, potato salad, roasted broccoli salad, and then fixings for our burgers, it looks like, and yeah, chips and salsa at the end. cookies, and cakes, and then some fruits. Oh, yeah. And then we got the condiment station over here in the corner where you got your ketchup, mustard, looks like mayo, there's, and other um, things. The drinks. And there's a drink station. All right, well, I think we're gonna get this taken care of. And we're gonna go. Wait, where it's not maybe as busy? Sounds good to me. Burger, but I got double cheese on it. Some German potato salad, a piece of jerk chicken, rice and beans, and I put it on top of the chips. I'm not sure what this is. There wasn't a label for the dessert, but it looks kind of like it's got like a strawberry topping. Mm. Worth a shot. Awesome. What about you, Timmy? Uh, I ended up going with the cheeseburger with extra cheese like Bridgie did, uh, hot dog um, with extra sauce on all of this and some <laughs> potato salad and some rice and beans and there's some chips underneath it. Uh, just your carbs and meat. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> I was a little skeptical of the chicken, but it's got really good flavor on my first bite. I, I am pleasantly surprised with that. Would take another bite. <laughs> All right, we found our path back by identifying the restroom sign, which leads to the ocean. Sounds good, man. We'll meet up with you guys later this evening at yeah. some point. Yeah. MDR probably? Yeah, probably. Cool. I'm an MDR for sure. Gonna sneak into the Captain Morgan on the Rocks Island bar really quick. Take a quick peek. Try not to film a bunch of people.
So, we just got done doing some snorkeling. Timmy was my, my eyes above the water and would direct me when he could see them better than I could. When we first surface started, yeah, yeah, he was surface snorkeling. When we first started, I was kind of like, well, I'll be happy if I see one fish. And I saw the one fish and I was like, yes, life is so much better. <laughs> but then we went a little bit further out and it was like, oh my gosh, a cornucopia of fish. I got to see, I got to see what I call the Garfield fish. I don't really know, but it's like, it looks like a little tabby cat. He's striped with orange and white and he was grumpy. It was great. He was kicking everybody out of his hole. Like, nope, in my spot guys, get out of here. Now we are walking back to uh, uh, board the train. The water taxis. Yeah, the water taxi yeah. to get back on the ship. So, then we're gonna meet up with Jess and Amanda a little bit later for dinner. We'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> So we just woke up from a two hour nap after an amazing day at Half Moon K. It was really beautiful water, so nice. I've never seen water more blue or like clear blue in my life. Um, I mean, I would definitely go back to Half Moon Key if, uh, I mean, even though there wasn't many things to do, if you like chilling on the beach, that's definitely uh, the number one priority there. And it's nice because, you know, they provide the lunch and the chairs, you know, you don't have to really worry about it. You just get off the ship and you're taken care of, you know. Uh, if you want to get one of the clamshells though, make sure you reserve it, like, when you book your cruise. Yeah, everything was sold out. Uh, and now we are going to go find Tim and Bridget. And we're gonna go have some dinner and maybe after dinner go check out some uh, comedy. Yep. We're doing the main dining room tonight with Jeff and Amanda. Um, hopefully Nigel is our waiter again. He's amazing. Agreed. He and like, what, what do you call himself? Like the king of booze or something he, like that? He's the doctor of booze, <laughs> is what he calls himself. So we're gonna see what kind of shenanigans we can get into at dinner, but the menu looked really good, so we're gonna give it a try. Uh, I'm pumped for it too. We're gonna go meet with Jeff and Amanda. See you there. We made it to dinner with Jeff and Amanda. We got Nigel again tonight. The booze master. The booze master. Yeah, I mean, immediately he came to the table before Tim and Bridget got here, uh, offering us a bunch of spicy mango, jalapeno, delicious drinks. And a couple lemon drops. Got some lemon drops. Then he tried starting us off with tequila. No, that was a hard pass. No, Nigel. After last night, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna relax today. I don't know about the rest of these guys. Uh, well, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Looking no, forward to this meal. No promises. <laughs> of your appetizers? I've had them before. They're just as good as they were last time. Eh, they're okay. Just okay? Just okay. I was very happy with the beignets. Uh, shrimp cocktails. Trusty, true shrimp cocktail. Okay, Jeff, if you were going to work on a cruise ship, what job would you have? Um, I don't think I can be a flex squad member because I, I can't be that positive for that long. Um, I don't know that I can be a wait staff member either because people just test my patience too much. Uh, cleaning's not my strong suit, so I assume I'm going to be on the main deck uh, sailing the ship. Oh, wow, that was a very great captain. That was a bold yeah, choice. Okay, okay. Amanda, same question. I would love to sell shore excursions to people and help them find the right thing to do. That sounds really fun. I like that. I would do that. I think you would be good at it. I would love Tim, that. Your turn. Uh, without a doubt, I would be the guy who makes the bread that goes in the bread baskets that come out in the MDR every single day. So You're specific. welcome. Bridget, how about you? Um, by day, I would definitely be on the fun squad. Like, cause I would be that circuit. I would be the bingo director. Mm -hmm. And by night, I would be the butter pat squirter at dinner. Everybody gets their own little, like I would just be like milk and a cow. Okay. Okay. We all are really 
So, the uh, shrimp creole was pretty good. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the cornmeal crusted chicken at all. Uh, the potatoes on the ship have been delicious. Mashed, fried, stewed. How else can you have, can, how else can you have potatoes? All the ways potatoes can be prepared if they're prepared properly. I don't need the blue sauce. Back. <laughs> you want to give a speech for the camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Booze Master. The best on the West. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great speech. It was. Short, short, short speech. Yes, yes. That's, that's how we like it. Now, after this cruise, I may either be, with your help, in Hollywood. I'll be famous like oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Or you see me in the post office, a picture on the wall, most wanted. <laughs> famous nonetheless. Yes, we yes. got a post office to work out in uh, West Virginia. Genoa. 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 US, US Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> Male and unidentified. <laughs> um, so I'm going to need the buffet later. My food wasn't great. Potatoes have been really good, but you can't, you know, can't always eat just potatoes. <laughs> you can. You can, but you know. Now you can get ready. It's showtime. I think we're just gonna roam around the ship now that dinner's over. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's really anything going on the rest of the night. We have to make a deck party after midnight, but we usually fall asleep before that. We'll see what happens. So, uh, we're just right outside of rooms. Uh, we're gonna leave Tim and Bridget to do their thing. Sounds like they're gonna do some laundry. Amanda and I are gonna go test our fates. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll take a couple shots of the laundry room so you can see what it looks like, but we're going to bed after that. We have one more sea day tomorrow, and we're going to get our last little bit of partying on then. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. We just got back from the casino. Uh, I went and redeemed my deal or no deal $30 of casino free play la from last night. Uh, I ended up buying some lottery tickets. So we're going to scratch these off and... Uh... See who win, we'll let you know. So, sadly, we only got 25 bucks back out of the 50 we spent. Yup, but I think it's time for bed. Had a really long day out in the sun, just exhausted and sunburned really bad. So, our last sea days tomorrow, and we got a lot of stuff we want to do, a lot of trivia. We're still trying to win that medallion for the wandering mittens. Yep. Since Bridget kind of got screwed on it. Um, we got bingo tomorrow again. Yep. Try to win 5,000. Uh, try and fit in some time to do a little bit of laundry. It's always nice going home with clean clothes and not having to do that the moment you get home. Yep. We're going to go hide some more ducks too. So we got a, we got a little bit of stuff planned tomorrow. So we're going to yep. get some rest tonight and get at it tomorrow. All right. We're signing off for the night. Good night. Good night, guys.